Hi guys, welcome to this video, which is going to have a look at the calculations that prove that concentration and pH are linked. So for this part of the video, you only need to know about acids. And as you know, as you go from pH 7 down to pH 0, it becomes more acidic. What you perhaps don't know is that every time the pH decreases by 1, the concentration changes by a factor of 10. So pH 6 is 10 times less concentrated than pH 5, which is 10 times less concentrated than pH 4, and so on. So there are two types of things you could be asked here, which are, as you decrease the pH by 1, what happens to the concentration, or as you decrease or increase the concentration, what happens to the pH. So we're going to have a look at an example. The question you might get is, how much more concentrated is an acid of pH 1 compared to an acid of pH 4? So if you get this question, what I'd do is I'd draw out, as I've done here, and then have a look at how many steps there are between 4 and 1. As you can see, I've got 10 times 10 times 10, because there's three steps, therefore it's a thousand times more concentrated, and that would be your answer. The same can be said for pH. So if they turn around and say something is 10 times more concentrated, the pH will go down by 1. So for example, if it started off from pH 4 and became 10 times more concentrated, it would be pH 3. Okay, let's have a look at a few questions then. So question 1 says, an acid with a pH of 3 is diluted by a factor of 10. What will be the new pH? So the key thing here, it says diluted, not concentrated. So this is going back up towards pH 7. What will be the pH? Have a go at that one. And question 2 says, calculate how much more acidic hydrochloric acid is with a pH of 0 than ethanoic acid with a pH of 4. That's worth two marks. Pause the video. Have a go now. Right, let's have a look. So the first one says an acid with a pH of 3 is diluted by a factor of 10. What will be the new pH? So the first thing, as I said, draw out something like this. You're starting off with a pH of 3, and we're diluting by a factor of 10. So diluting means it's going to go up like that. If it's only by 10, that means it's gone up by 1. So your answer is a pH of 4. If it had said a factor of 100, it would have been 10 times 10, so it would have been 5. 1,000 would have been 6, and 10,000 would have been 7. Question 2. Calculate how much more acidic hydrochloric acid is with a pH of 0 than ethanoic acid with a pH of 4. So again, draw this out. You're starting off with a pH of 0, and you're going up to a pH of 4. As we can see, there are four steps here. So we've gone 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which gets you one mark for writing that down. And then your second mark is for the answer, which is it's 10,000 times more concentrated. OK, that pretty much brings this video to a close. There is a review question for you here, which says the most acidic rain recorded in Britain had a pH of 2. How much more acidic is this than the normal rainwater with a pH of 5? Have a go at that, and that's this video at an end. Hopefully it's helped. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click on subscribe down below, and you can also find out more information on my website, mrbarnstc.com, and Facebook, and Twitter.